What's up guys, this is Snake Eyes. Bring you another game on Modern Warfare 3. This one is Village. And uh, rocking my ACR 6.8 with Silencer. Uh, this setup has been working really well for me. And uh, start off this game just about taking a death. Um, I like this key area back here, even though it's sort of hard to uh, defend. Uh, throw out the bouncing Betty to guard the path coming up to the caves, and then it's just a matter of patrolling this cave area here and Watch taking out anybody I see. Uh, so, uh, as you see right there, somebody trips the bouncing Betty, so now I know that that path is another one that I have to defend moving forward. Um, so, I go back and forth, and in a previous video, I think I told you that one of the improvements on Modern Warfare 3 that I particularly enjoy that Modern Warfare 2 did not have is the ability to continue on with death streaks uh, or kill streaks. I don't know why I keep getting those two mixed up, but um, continuing on with kill streaks after they have expired. And basically, what that means is if you uh, run a perfect game after you got your last kill streak, usually you're kind of screwed to get anything more uh, until you die and start all over again. That's not the case in Modern Warfare 3. Uh, once your last uh, kill streak has concluded, you basically start back over again, um, and the kills that you are earning go Enemy back UAV towards identified. the first kill streak. Enemy UAV uh, identified. So right there, I get a, standing by. a two kill. Friendly Cobra inbound. And uh, so what, basically, what you're seeing is I've uh, got the Predator missile, took somebody out with it, got my uh, helicopter up in the air, and I got my AH 6 Overwatch up in the air. And the AH 6, like I told you in other videos, you can see the shadow right there, it basically hovers right above you. Anybody who comes within a certain radius. Uh, gets basically chopped up by the guns on the side of this thing. Um, usually when you get it, it's a good idea to move around cautiously, slowly, and let that AH-6 just uh, basically pick anybody off who's in the area. If you go into a uh, cave system or if you go into a building, basically what the Overwatch does is it tries to follow you. If it doesn't follow you inside, uh, it flies above you. As long as there are windows or there's gaps in the roof or ceiling, it'll take people out. So, as you can see right here, uh, wherever there's daylight, that's where the AH-6 can uh, follow me through. Once I come out the other side of the caves, it's following me still. So, going back and forth, uh, the helicopter is just about leaving. I still have the AH-6 with me so far. Now they are both gone, so um, I like this setup that I'm currently using. Uh, it's working out really well between the Dead Silence Pro and the uh, Enemy UAV identified. silencer on the gun itself. So no, nobody can hear me coming and nobody can uh, see me as a red dot. Uh, right there, I get another double. And as you can see, I haven't died up to this point, and since both my helicopters have included, I go back to Predator Missile, uh, which I waste. <laughs> uh, I hate when that happens, but anyways, uh, continuing on with the game here, kind of patrolling, uh, making sure that I'm keeping my uh, defense up so I can nobody surprises me when they come around a corner. Your biggest threat when you're using this build, uh, Dead Silence Pro and Silencer, is somebody else using the exact same build. Otherwise, as long as you stay pretty uh, quiet and you're keeping up with your uh, pathy, make sure nobody's going to come up behind you, you should have no problem with taking them out. So, as you can see, guys, it uh, hasn't been a week yet, and I get my first 30 and 0 or flawless game. Uh, I was pretty happy about that, so I'll be bringing you some more videos, uh, but the game is getting better and better for me, and uh, I'm getting back into the swing of things, so thanks for watching, and uh, you guys have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.